Hey guys, Melissa here. A uh, long time no see. I know it's been a hot minute since I uploaded anything to YouTube. Um, it's a long story. I may get into it at some point. But today I am moving into my new 2018-2019 uh, Erin Condren Life Planner. So I thought I would show you what I got and kind of show you my first stickers in here. Um, so as you can see, I also got the new planner folio. Um, I went with the llama print. I don't know how much I'm going to actually use this, but if like this would have been super handy when I was in the salon and putting my planner in and out of my purse all the time. So we'll see how functional it actually ends up being for me. Um, here's the planner I got. Obviously I went with the peacock cover, which because I've always liked peacock a lot. So I almost like couldn't not get it. Um, but as I've looked over some of the other new covers, like I definitely, there's quite a few I really liked. So I feel probably another order coming on. Um, this year I got the gold coil, um, which is really out of character for me. I've done the black before, um, which I really liked, but, um, uh, I'm not generally really a gold person, but, um, I don't know. I just thought it was pretty in other people's planners that I saw. So I thought I'd try it. Um, as you can see this year, the ruler is the same. It just has the new, um, I think it's called woven wonder pattern on it. Um, I don't really use these. I don't keep these on my planner, so I will take that off. Um, inside here, kind of the vellum sheet as usual. Uh, I also ordered these new sticky notes that have the woven wonder pattern. Um, I've meant to get the sticky notes for a long time because I feel like that would be really functional. Um, you know, if I need to write something down, but I don't want to, I don't have the sticker I want to put it on or, you know, I just don't want to put pen in my planner yet. So, um, I also love that these snap in to the planner. Um, so that's where I have them for now. Um, We'll see how that ends up. Um, on the first page here, I'm going to actually make a sticker with my name on it, on my silhouette. Um, I've meant to do that the last couple of years and haven't gotten around to it. Um, here we have the quotes page. And then this is 2018 and 2019, um, just year at a glance. I actually have gone through and put some stickers in here. Um, and I wrote under here, the only erasable pen I could find was this blue friction erasable pen. Um, but I just kind of put the uh, school calendar in there. My daughter is going back to public school this fall and she's going to be a senior. Um, so I definitely wanted to have all those dates handy. Um, those are the orange. The blue is like when my stepsons come and go. Um, if you haven't followed me for a while, they live 14 hours away. So. Um, it's always kind of a production when they come and leave. Um, and I might add some like bills that come out like yearly or quarterly in here. Um, but that's what I'm doing with that page. This, there's 12 different boxes. Um, and I'm thinking that I might actually do like our debt snowball in these. We haven't been aggressively trying to pay off debt, but we need to be aggressively trying to pay it off. Um, so I may actually just track each month. Um, what our total debt is so I can see <laughs> which direction that's going. All right, this is new this year. Um, they took out the circles that were here um, and have added this notes page in. Um, a lot of people are really excited about that. A lot of people like to put their budget here. Um, our family budget does not fit on this page, so I won't be doing that, but I do like to go in monthly um, and kind of write down things like, you know, check the salt in the water softener and, um, you know, check the smoke alarms, uh, things of that nature. So I don't know if I will be doing stickers or just writing it down, but that's what I'll be using that page for. All right. So it's still June, obviously when I'm recording this, um, but I'm moving into, it starts in July. So it will be July and I can't get the page turned, um, starting June 25th. Um, is when I move into this. So that's uh, two weeks away. Um, so yeah, uh, I did get kind of a small Planner Kate haul recently. Um, I'll just show you real quick. This is really the only sticker shop I use. Um, I use some Erin Condren stickers and once in a while I'll make 
some of my own if there's something specific I want. Um, but I really like hers. They're cute, but they're mostly functional. Um, and she just has, her quality is always good and her shipping is always fast. So um, this is pretty much the only sticker shop I use. I like to get a monthly kit for every month. Um, and when I ordered these, it was on a sale and she didn't have August out yet. So I actually have those coming as well. Um, and then this is obviously for the week of the 4th of July. Um, and so since the first week is not going to be the 4th of July, um, I think I'm gonna use the succulents. Like, these are super pretty. Um, and this one is too, but I just like this one a little better. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and put in my July stickers. And I think I will probably speed this up so you don't have to go through the pain of me putting down each and every sticker. Okay, so there is that. Um, I also like to use just kind of the end of this washi. I don't know if I have that straight, not really. To cover this up and just cut that off. Um, and then the rest of these you know, as things come up through the month, I might use them on here or I might use them on my weekly spreads. Um, and this washi, like, I think we're going to go camping at some point in July. I don't know when yet, so I'm obviously not going to put it in right now. Um, but then I like to cut this in half and kind of use it um, to indicate that. So that is pretty much all I do to set up my monthly. And now we'll go to the weekly. This is what I really like about these Planner Kate mini kits is what this one is. Um, this particular one, it's MK44A. Oops, wrong end. Um, I just like putting this strip of washi up here. And then with the excess, I cover this box up and then I can use like one of my quote stickers or whatever. Okay, so there we have that, and then these have a little weekend banner. Um, I'll put that about here. Um, usually what I will do is put washi or something down here, and then I put like my husband and daughter's work schedules down there. Um, there's a few things that like, our garbage going out that happen every week that I can put in ahead of time. Well, now I goofed up the color. The nice thing about these, they are repositionable, obviously. That's something I <laughs> am in desperate need of. Fridays. Payday, and that's where I will go in with these monthly kits. My husband gets paid every week, so it doesn't make sense for me to just have two to put on the monthly view, but I generally have enough extras from different kits. I just use them that way. All right, and I guess there's also a payday on here, but um, well, since I'm using a full kit this week, maybe I will use the one that matches a little closer. Okay, so that is mostly the pre-planning that I do. Um, as I get closer to this week, I will go in and like add in my daily to-do lists and any appointments or whatever that are specific to this week. Um, and I usually have a habit tracker that I put over here. I go in with like some of these older or other um, Erin Condren sticker sheets that have the quotes on them. Like this came was an exclusive when you bought the planner on release day. Um, and this was, I think from the spring seasonal surprise box. So this one says it's the little things and it's kind of the right color scheme. So I will put that there. 
So there you have it. There's just a quick run through moving in my planner. Um, I will go ahead and show you what's in the back here. Um, we have some of the lined note pages. I can't get the pages turned very well, sorry. Um, some dot grid, and then you have the woven, um, like in the corners there. Um, something new this year, they have this page of contacts. Um, I don't know, I haven't totally decided. I might rip this out because I have the Erin Condren address book. I don't know if I'm gonna use that. But then on the other hand, it might also be handy to keep some contacts on you. Um, I'm also gonna rip out this coloring page. Um, well, I probably won't rip out the contacts because there's a calendar on the back. But I also rip out the stickers, but I do use these quite a bit. Um, what I don't use, I pass on to my daughter. This is basically what they had in the planner last year. These are new. Um, I think Erin Condren is definitely like stepping up their sticker game. Um, these are kind of neat, these little triangles that could like go in the corner. Um, goals today, goal getter, remember, um, like little habit trackers here. Um, and these are super cute, just different icons and whatever. Um, and then these labels they've had in there for a couple of years. I honestly don't use these a lot, so we'll see. Um, and then, of course, the uh, pouch, which comes with the uh, coil clip if you want to add it, um, which I usually do, and then the folder. So there is my planner. I'm super excited for July so I can start using this. So thanks so much for watching guys. I will catch you next time.